Lala Emily, and I'm a, a local musical artist, also um, model, and yeah. <laughs> For two years now, I'm with an agency um, at the moment, and I do a lot of print photography modeling right now because of everything going on, we couldn't finish out our last two fashion shows that we had at the end of this year. So the take I have out now is called Tunnel Vision. It has seven songs on it. All of them are just um, showcasing different styles of dance hall, hip hop, R&B, and soul. And um, the number one song right now that everybody's blasting to is Keep the Fade, which is featuring a, another artist in my group, Saya R&B, in home studio. We have our own versatile studio that we um, engineer out of. The COVID whole thing put me more into my music, so I dropped my first EP during COVID, and that one had over five songs on it. That was a um, nice project. I also recorded three videos within that time frame, too. One of them was actually in my house. Um, that was the first one I did, first promo. And after that, um, about five months later, that's when I dropped Tunnel Vision, so I was working on that the entire time. I also had like a listening party. And I did three songs there to my new EP and dropped it um, two weeks ago. So, um, well, I've always been called Lala because it's shortened from my um, government name. But I added the envy on because there's a lot of Lala's and I wanted to be different. And envy is basically like my arts or ego. So that's more of the aggressive side, the musical side of me. And then Lala is more of the homebody, motherly side of me. So. Combine them both together and you get a lot of lines. Um, I would love to work with YFN Lucci or YMW Melly. They both like two of my favorite rappers. And as far as singers, um, one of the artists that I really admire is Kelly Rowland. But um, her genre is too similar to mine, so I don't know how our voices will sound on track. So next I have another project um, coming out. It's a collab project that I'll probably drop in. February and then after that I'm going to continue to work on my business. Um, me and my sister created our own company so we're definitely going to continue to branch um, that next year and come out with bigger things for that project. Um, as far as my music, I'm going to be working with Versatile Production. We're going to be um, coming out with our own music together and just using beats um, produced by us. So our company is called Make Me Over. And um, we established it this year, actually, during COVID, um, coming up with new things to do. It's a cosmetic line. We sell hair extensions, lip glosses, lip scrubs, and we are bringing on some new projects um, and new products as well this year coming up. So we're going to keep on branding and adding to it. Um, uh, I don't know if it's really my, my speed, but I mean... I'm into trying new things, so I can definitely give it a go. The Royal Family. <laughs> <laughs> it's old, but... <laughs> well, everybody's life who begins um, doesn't always have an happy ending, and I want my ending to always be happy, so I would rather go to the end, because I know by then I'm going to accomplish a lot of things versus the beginning. My favorite song throughout um, both my projects is still going to be Alone. That's the very first song that I put out. And I always go back to that moment and that's always going to be like an inspirational song for me. My diet, I eat spirity. Okay. <laughs> Likes to eat. <laughs> um, but I don't gain no weight from it, so that's good. Uh, my favorite fish is salmon. I eat a lot of salmon. And um, I don't really eat too much beef, <laughs> but um, fish is always my go-to and lots and lots of vegetables, so I eat healthy, even though I eat a lot. <laughs> Home alone. <laughs> That's Which the one? classic, so I like the first one. <laughs> well, I've been singing um, since I was little, but as far as me wanting to pursue music, it wasn't until I started um, working with Versatile is when I realized like I really wanted to do it professionally since last year in like November. And we already got a lot accomplished so far so we had to start getting creative um, by keeping everything connected with the agency. We was doing TikTok videos and making big collages with them on Instagram 
we would um, figure out ways to create our own photo shoots at home. And I also edited my, myself on my phone and um, they ended up posting it on the page. Like it looked like it was the actual studio behind me. So we just had to start getting creative um, throughout the pandemic. And we stayed on Zoom doing practices and stuff as well. That's just so we'd be ready. So when everything came back in, we just drop a show. It was um, for two years now. Man, I'm hoping to have my daughter run my business in the next five years, to be honest. Like, um, we trying to work on getting it put on shelves of actual um, makeup stores or even like Walmart um, and on Amazon and stuff like that. Just so it can be more worldwide versus just local. That, I'm, I'm hoping um, my tail is in Atlanta. Way before then. <laughs> Working with other local, well, other more um, out there artists now. I don't plan on signing. Um, you know, I like being independent. So, if I can ride that wave to the end, I'm gonna ride it. <laughs> I wouldn't say kind of like touch him. Um, she just had her own wave with it. Um, but I'm gonna go with Tony Braxton. I'm taking the wave back. <laughs> She's always gonna have her legend behind her, and ain't nobody taking that. Um, so. <laughs> I shop a lot now, so um, <laughs> we gonna go with Fashion Nova. <laughs> we gonna go with Pretty Little Things. We gonna go with um, damn, what's the other one we be shopping at all the time? Bro? The one more that I stay on. Oh, Shane. <laughs> yep. I don't like going to the mall too much, and don't be having no good boutiques there. So you gotta go online now. <laughs> So our website is www.makemeovernv.com and you can also follow us on Instagram is Make Me Over Envy and we also have a Facebook Make Me Over LLC. So check it out.